everybody. My name is E-Double. Their name is PJ Harvey. Let's go. Shots on here. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today I'm bringing you a brand new episode of my League Squad Builder series. Now you should probably tell by the title of the video and the name of that squad. This of course going to be the Russian Leagues, one of the leagues I've really enjoyed doing over the past years when I did upload. And I'm going to start off with someone I always use, even though he's not the highest rated goalkeeper anymore, which absolutely blows my mind in the Russian League. It's going to be Akiv Fiev, I believe that's how you pronounce it, if not, I'm sure he's will let me know. The main attributes about him is he really makes that diff difficult saves, I was going to say. In my Turkish League squad, but I did say like it was a solid goalkeeper, and but he didn't make that one save that made me say, wow, this is a really good goalkeeper. I can feel he certainly did that many, many times, plus he was a lot like Loris, really, really quick coming off his line, and I definitely enjoyed him. The right back is someone who's got a lot of pace, but someone that didn't really step out to me. I really thought looking at this guy, he was going to stand up and be one of the best players in the squad, just by stats, by stats wise. 84 pass at 82 defending, it does not feel like he's got 82 defending, loses a lot of balls in the air. Really quick though, which I suppose is a sort of benefit when you're using your right back. Plays a lot like Kyle Walker, just not as strong and not as good as in the air. Gary, I know that's how you not pronounce his name either, but I'm just going to call him Gary because, you know, I do what I want. It's my videos. <laughs> anyway, 89 defend, 8 physical. It's a bit of a lie physical wise. Him and his defensive partner, but a wee quick shout out to this guy. If you're starting out and you don't have a lot of coins, definitely use him. But back to my point, him and Sickerson, the England killer make a really strong partnership in the centre of defensive, really benefit each other um, exceptionally well. Both good in the air, both good at tackling, their slide tackle seems to go on for days. Sigerson's actually got a high defensive work rate and also chipped in with one goal I believe in that as well. The left back is someone who stepped up as well, I wasn't too excited about using the left backs but I actually forgot this guy had an international classic, Euro, whatever it's freaking called, card. I believe he played for Chelsea if I'm not mistaken anyway, 86 pace, he seemed a lot quicker than that, Get, gets a lot more involved in the play, sort of done what the job I thought the right back was going to do but it was actually him that stepped up in the left back position, stepped up, got a couple of um, sort of assists of the assists, got some nice movement and his slide tackle was really good in that as well. The first centre mid is going to be someone I've converted, I believe he was a centre defensive mid but I bought him as a centre attacking mid just because you know I do what I want. Anyway, he chipped in with one, a couple of goals, nothing too great from the midfield, but he's good at winning the ball back, that was his main attribute, winning the sort of slide tackles, he's got lovely passing in that as well. I believe if I've played uh, more games that people didn't rage quit, that's one of the things that took some of the stats away, so if you're looking at these stats and sort of rating them towards my other squad, you'll be probably thinking, wow, this squad isn't that great, and I, I would say... There was a lot of rage quits in the first half. You'll see that between the match ratings at the end. And let's speak about Eremenko and that as well. Scored a lot of goals for me. You'll see I'm chipping in with some goals here. I'm just going to speak about the rage quits. I got a lot of them. I don't know what it was about this squad, but it made a lot of people rage quit, which was very frustrating because I like to try and get the best stats possible. Um, and I just got a lot of them. So I'd probably say three games. So I'd, I'd, I'd be judging everyone's sort of stats on five games. So if you put it five games, that's probably going to be fair because I got three early rage quits. And most of the other games you see here, Eremeko's got a great shot on him as well. Most people know about him because, you know, Zwei's made a couple of videos on him and stuff like that, so I'm not going to go too much about him. And I believe this is an identical goal to what's in my Dutch squad builder, actually. Shot for shot, which is really weird. So if you go back and look to my, watch my Dutch squad builder, uh, league squad builder, you'll see that goal, which is exactly the same, which really freaks me out. But anyway, five goals, and I would say five games and one assist. Really strong attributes in the midfield. High, high, sort of attacking work rate and defensive work rate. Get forward, gets the get back. Great, uh, good at with the ball and obviously what you've seen from the highlights is uh, shot power as well. Wenblom is someone I use in my Swedish squad and I absolutely love him so I'm going to use him whenever I can. Didn't chip in with too many assists, I believe he got like 6 or 7 in the last one I used him. But he done what I needed him to do which was protect that back four, sit in that little gap when Eremenko was pushed forward, he'd drop in there and sort of break up the play. Let's move on to the star of the squad or which you guys would imagine which is actually going to be the star of the squad and that's going to be Hulk. Now, Hulk frustrates me so much because I'm actually, spoiler alert, using a squad of a Turkish nationality. <laughs> um, and someone who's up front for me, he's got really high, like, physicality. And I think, like, Hulk should be that strong, but he's just not. I don't know what it is. I've tried him in all different formations. I actually hate this formation I'm using. I prefer the 4 3 3 with the 4 option with the centre attacking mid and the lone striker. But I, I played this one to try and get Hulk more involved in this squad because I started off with that and he was just never involved. And you've seen him with the goals and that stuff. There's another rage quit. Um, you'll see that he is scoring goals for me and he is looking really good. And lads, 
He is good, but I just expect him to... He's 95 raid, and I've used like cards like 83 raid and 85 raid, and their head and shoulders impact the game a lot more than Hulk does, which is... I know it's difficult to sort of imagine that I'm going to give the Hulk sort of a little slap on the wrist because of the goals he's banging in here. Did get seven goals in basically five games and one assist. All the stats you could sort of want, but he's just not as good as his stats suggest. Um, someone who's actually really, really fun to use, but did not infect the game the way I wanted them to, was going to be Shatov. <laughs> I believe that's how you pronounce his name anyway. <laughs> if not, it's pretty awesome. Shatov did not score a lot of goals for me. I believe he got two goals and three assists or something, or five assists, something like that in the five games. Didn't score a lot, but you could give the ball to him. And he was one of those players, with the running squads I've had, I've not really had someone who's got good skill moves. And Shatov can pull off the skill moves, he's actually got a dangerously l good long shot, which I didn't realise until the last couple of games, so if, I believe if I played more with him, maybe if I played like 10 or 11 games, he'd have chipped him with more goals because he's got a very good long shot, but I didn't try any long shots until the very end. Just something in my mentality, I just didn't try until the very last two games that he did chip in with one really good one and hit the bar, I believe twice in that as well. Got really good pace, phenomenal dribbling and really good fun sort of player to use. One of the best players in the squad, I was going to say. For the striker, I'd actually recommend this guy Konikin. Um he's really good, got one goal and two, I believe I subbed him on and he scored two goals for me. Um, this guy, I have no idea how you say his name, I believe he's sort of disappointing again at the Euros for Russia as well. But it's hard for me to think like what I'm going to say about this guy. Is, is probably I'm going to throw this highlight in here just so you can see. That's probably the best thing you could probably think about him is he flatters through to see, again he's one of the players that should be really strong. And he sometimes is, but he's so inconsistent with his strength, he's so inconsistent with his finishing, and he's so inconsistent inconsistent with his pace. He's just a really, as you can imagine, inconsistent. That was actually the very first shot of the squad, That, if you want to go and watch that goal again. That was the first game, the first shot, and I was like, this guy's going to be amazing. But he just wasn't. Four star weak foot, um, he's definitely not, because his left foot is absolutely horseshit. His right foot is decent, but he's he's so inconsistent in finishing. He gets the goalkeeper either saves it or he hits the post. He hit the post four times, lads, which I think is way too many. He should be scoring a lot more goals. But that's actually going to be the squad builder. You can see it's a very sexy looking squad, lads. I believe there's another uh, team of the season you can use in the centre uh, centre mid position, but I wanted to use the inform uh, Viking. But anyway, you'll see a like, like, little highlight here. I actually got a comment from this guy. I think he was actually pretty happy that I done this. He scores a bullshit. He obviously didn't mean to score an own goal. But this is me, I'm just, that's how I play lads, I don't try and be a dick when I'm playing. Anyway, I equaled that up and I ended up beating him like 5 or 6 too, so it was kind of worth it. Uh, I just feel like more players should be like that, we are a community, we should be helping each other sort it out in the game plays and that as well. When they bullshit things happen, you don't need to shoot, you don't need to be a dick. But obviously, 8 games with this squad, back to 8 wins, 100% win accuracy with his squad. Fun squad to play with lads, but I'm going to leave that and now to listen to some music and read on some of the match stats stuff like that. Fun squad, I'm going to give about an 8.5 out of 10. Really expensive though, mostly because of Hulk, around 700k for the entire squad. I've been CJ Nova 92. Thank you for watching. And bye bye. I am just exactly what I will be. Just a guy who can rhyme and chop ill beats. One day I'll recover from what ails me. Till then I'm on that fuck with the sales beat. My mama told me one day I'ma grow up big and I'ma be a king. And my papa told me it's okay to say what shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this. So called life they call living but I call it strange and I bet I'll do it. Cause I'm on my way and strong enough that I can shake your yeah. brain. They talk about death. We trying to live life while they signal says left, but they really going right. But who cares? They got nothing to improve upon. Me while we pass them fast lane Rubicon. Uh, so let the shit storm rang and they try to dab us up, but we just leave them hanging. Yeah, so let them catch up with the language. They can talk shit, but you know that we can manage. Uh